Okay, what do we got here? We got a little MQ Whisper Watt. Hi, it's Michael Dillon. Now it's time to give yourself a thumbs up and me too, please. Appreciate it, it helps the algorithm. To 70 kW, we're gonna go through and check it out. Check uh, what we do for a checkout and then we're gonna power it up. So I'm gonna hand you over to the DP. He's gonna hold that. And then the first thing we do is we do a little visual inspection. You come in here, you look for fluid down here and then look for anything loose up top. This one's pretty dirty, not how we normally like them, but that looks good. There's your radiator, there's no coolant bottle, it's on the other side. Over here is your phase. We're in three phase, 240, ooh, one, 139. So we're gonna have to check the voltage, we got a meter for that. And then in here, we have 350 amp plugs that's good in a cam so we're gonna need a reverse ground for our setup here back over here this is an analog voltage gauge so these are all analog I like to uh, we're making a YouTube video uh, this is anonymous I'm anonymous Mike Dillon uh, so we'll check the voltage because it's really hard to read these to turn it on you're gonna go manual let the guy warm up Sometimes somebody will pull this in order to reset it. You gotta turn it and it pops out. Um, let's go over here to the oil. Let's check the oil. Ah, here's the money shot. Battery cables are nice and tight. You're looking for hoses, wires. Look right here. There's a panel here. It's supposed to have a panel cover. It doesn't have a panel cover. So all that stuff's gonna get coated with dirt and crap. There's probably something wrong with it. They probably fixed it, left the panel on the tailgate. Who knows what they did. Pull the oil out, it's nice and clean right up to the top. Some people like to lick it. I don't recommend that. Just wipe it off with your tissue from your donut earlier this morning. Or it was a cronut. I had my second cronut today. Oh my God. Here's your fuel. Um, this is our first time using this one, so we don't know. And it's right to the top. So the fuel's good, the oil's good. The last coolant is right here. You can't really get into this radiator cap conveniently. You have to climb on top. As long as that's good, we're good. Check the service. It's been serviced four months ago. This is a, a little overflow. Or no, that's a drain line. It's kinked. So little stuff like that. You're just looking around. You're looking at the hoses, you're looking at this weeping right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you see that weeping? All those things are things you want to keep an eye on. Let's go fire it up. You're doing a great job. I could afford to hire this guy. What do we say, manual? First thing when it fires up is look at your oil pressure. You don't come up to oil pressure right there. It just came up. Shut it down. It should do that in three or five seconds. It's weird with the AQMD, this is a tier four. They say there's no warm up time. The code for emergency power for hospitals is nine seconds from start to full power. So in the old days, we used to wait 15 minutes, not anymore. Nine seconds. Okay, so looks good right here, 12208. So our voltage is good. We got 60 hertz. I'll go ahead and throw a meter on it. No amps. It's good if you want to adjust your voltage. Here's your breaker. So some guys turn the breaker off. I always leave them on. So let's go on. There we go. Now we'll check the voltage real quick. Uh, we're going to need a suicide, Mr. Anonymous. Uh, you got a male suicide? Now some people... Uh, at work, sometimes they fire us for making uh, camera videos, but uh, we're anonymous, we're not going to talk about what show we're working on, we're not going to get any trouble. So between the, the ground and the neutral, we should have zero, and between the ground we should have 120, that's 121, and... 121 and 121 and then leg to leg we should have 210 that's pretty good so we're 
voltage is good. Let me check these here. Make sure they have power. Okay, that's weird. So those don't work. But these here, it says single phase. That means don't use these. This only has less than 100 volts. So in order to change the phase, we gotta shut the generator off. You idle it down, and then you go to the off position. If you make the mistake of putting it in auto, it will kill the battery, because auto, it's still on. You only change the phase when the unit is completely shut down. So we'll go to single phase, 240, 120. And now we'll fire it up and adjust the voltage. Am I going too fast? Go high now, engine speed switch high after the manual. And this, man, is that automatic? No, it says one. Oh, shut down. You know why it shut down? Probably shut down because of over voltage, so I should have adjusted it a little bit sooner. So let's try again. <laughs> Michael, I'm back. We had trouble with this one. I switched phase, kept on shutting down, uh, doesn't give a message. So we just went back to three phase. We're gonna do a little distribution package for what we need. We'll call the vendor and find out why it keeps on shutting down. Uh, it's about two or three volts high in voltage, but it shouldn't uh, shouldn't shut down when you increased it. So who knows? That's why you want to check it out before you go to use it. Thank you very much. Appreciate the thumbs up, subscribe, share, and any comment. Say whatever you want.